Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. It's a beautiful fall day. It's a September 2023. Anyway, today I want to just say a few words about battery clamps. Okay, now the kind of battery clamp you're used to is this kind of clamp. American clamp, this one's broken, that's why I've got it in my hand. It cracked on the, on the underside. Um, but it's just an American clamp. If you're going to fit these, I like to take these guys here and flip them upside down so that it squishes the wire a lot more tightly than it might otherwise. You always want to have the inside of the clamp clean and um, uh, you want to have it spread apart so you can get it all the way on the post. And it's nice to have a post protector so that one, one terminal can't discharge to the other terminal. So this is the American style. But that's not what most MGs came with, certainly not prior to about 1974. They came with these helmet, helmet terminals. These are lead terminals. This is the, the uh, cable that runs from side to side on an MGA or an MGB. So the diameter of these guys is different. I don't know if you can see it, but this one is ever so slightly smaller than this one. This is the negative, this is the positive. Positive is always the, the larger of the two terminals. So if, you want, if you're playing the originality game and you want original terminals, they're a lot of trouble because you've got to drill into the post. That'll snap a drill off. You've got to be so careful drilling it. Then put a screw down in there and then get them real nice and tight and tighten, tighten the screw. They're, they're problemsome, to be fair. Uh, but if you do want to use new ones, you have to get bronze ones to solder onto your old cables. So you strip your cable, run that down inside there with, along with some flux, heat it up, and tin the whole thing with solder. Get a lot of solder, of course, on the cable. You can see these are marked plus and minus, you know, for the, for the relative sizes of the, of the uh, terminal, post terminal. You can see this maybe a little more clearly than the other one. Anyway, this is the way to put a, a cable end on on a, on a wire if you're really into originality and want to have it cool. This is another kind. This is a, a ground cable. This is pretty handy if you want to dial this back so there's no connection between the cable and the battery post. You spin it loose when you're not driving the car. Spin it down. On an MGB these are not very handy. Um, because I no, don't know about the overall height, but you got to take that rear cover off. That's just a real bugger to get that rear, rear battery cover off. But maybe on a T-Type or, I don't know, even on an MGA, maybe they, they make sense. With T-Types, it's just it's something you've got to do before you operate the car. If you want to switch, if you want to switch, buy one of those great big switches put it behind the passenger seat on an angle, run your, your cable from the battery to it, and the cable that goes up front to that, or you can catch the ground side, doesn't make any difference, but the hot side is usually the, the, forward, the forward post. It's easier to hook up. I put one of those in my daughter's car, um, and it's really nice. She's got a great big key. She just pushes the passenger seat ahead a little bit, turns the switch, puts the seat back, we're set to go. If anything happens, all you do is turn it off. It's also an anti-theft device, but <laughs> help me out, having a clutch is a pretty good anti-theft theft device right there. So, that's just my quick, quick comment about Lucas battery terminals on a beautiful day today. So, thanks very much. Visit our website.